I identify as a European. I identify as all sorts of other things as well, of course, as English, British, citizen of the UK, uh, somebody who lives in the relatively well-off uh, northern and western hemisphere, uh, middle class, on the left politically, but being European is an important part of my identity. The formative European moment for me came in 1988, I think, when uh, Jacques Delors was addressing the TUC conference in Bournemouth. And he talked about collective bargaining at a European level. And for me, that helped get me out of thinking of Europe as just a free market confederation and persuaded me that Europe could be something so much more, perhaps um, a forum for advancing social democracy and labour issues, and something that actually was, represented a practical step forward in internationalism, an alternative to the brutalities of um, Moscow or those of Washington. was uh, Brexit, and I'm sure I'm like so many other people uh, responding to this and saying that. When I saw, I stayed up all night to watch the vote come in, and when I saw the northeast of England, uh, you know, where there's the Nissan plant going in the Brexit direction, I, I thought, I just felt so terrible then. Um, achievement of the Good Friday Agreement between the United Kingdom and Ireland. That, uh, I think, is so important in uh, healing one of the worst uh, conflicts in Europe. And I, I pray so much that Brexit and rising um, English nationalism in the UK does not undo this important agreement. I've been able to work um, in Europe uh, because of the EU, but I think for me personally, the most important thing that the EU has done is it's actually given some institutional form to hopes and aspirations of mine of how there could be some kind of internationalism, some kind of way of establishing a society that's at once prosperous, pe peaceful, outward-looking. Um, and as I said earlier, when I was talking about identity, neither British in the way of Washington nor in the way of Moscow. Uh, so, yeah, and it's actually given concrete institutional form to that. To have found some way of reincorporating the United Kingdom in a larger European project of a Europe-wide Green New Deal, a Europe that's outward-looking, a Europe that guarantees some form of stability and dignity for everybody living there. Not a fortress Europe, but a Europe that's playing a larger part in the world to try and halt global heating and providing a way forward of dignity, prosperity and a good life for all. And I want the UK to be part of that.